It's 2022 and hey, we see you. Here at AMZ Advisors, we know you've been watching our videos as you're trying to come up with ideas and best practices to start your own business on Amazon. And since a successful business starts with a great product, I encourage you to watch this video until the end. I am Catalina Natasha from AMZ Advisors, and today I'll give you some tips that will help you figure out what to sell on Amazon in Q1. As a rule of thumb, you should always study the marketplace to be aware of changes in trends and consumer demand. But since you're here already, I'll give you a heads up. Oh yes, exercising is not only in fashion, but it is a lifestyle. Loving your body and keeping it in shape and healthy is a basic activity. And plenty of people use equipment to do so. Exercise bands, resistance bands, weights, exercise bench. These are just some of the items of the many that people are looking for online. A recent Jungle Scout Consumer Trends report established that around 104% of consumers are more likely to shop on Amazon than going into the physical store. A tip for selling exercise equipment is to go to the discount stores and then resell those items on Amazon. That kind of practice is known as retail arbitrage. It is common knowledge that fitness clothing and shoes are super comfortable to wear regardless of whether you're into sports or not. These type of products are a no-brainer, but because they're so popular and plenty of people buy them, therefore plenty of sellers have them in stock, you need to apply for a slightly different strategy that will separate you from the rest of them. Reselling or retail arbitrage is a very common and money-saving practice. The beauty industry has always been one of the strongest marketplaces ever. And now that skincare is super huge, you can't be left behind. The first thing that you would need to do is to get approved on Amazon for selling these types of products. In order to do so, you should keep a few things in mind. You must have an order defect rate below 1%. Also, have a pre-fulfillment cancel rate below 2.5% and your order's late shipment rate below 4%. Once you get approved, you can go all in. Remember, analyze your marketplace. Selling to teenagers isn't the same as selling to women in their 50s. Your communication game and images must be a strong one. For in the end, Amazon is a very visual tool, so love at first sight definitely applies here. There is a strong area in almost every country in the world. Think ahead of the game. If Easter is coming up, then what are you waiting for? Get all your Easter decorations in place and start publicizing them before the season gets there. Be one of the first ones to offer products that will eventually be looked for. Baking trays, pillows, spatulas, bed sheets, cloth hangers, soap dispensers. Home supplies are basic items and therefore people will always be looking for them. If you are a home and kitchenware supplier, chances are you will pop up on the search page results. But keep in mind that because there are plenty other sellers of perhaps the same items, you need to make sure that what you're selling stands out. My recommendation, work out your PPC ads. They're the best marketing tool available within Amazon and they will publicize your brand and or products. To learn more about that, you can click on the video suggestion above me. Bibs and baby blankets are some of the top selling products you'll find on site. Sometimes parents need to find very specific products that might not be available in physical stores due to high demand or low demand. And most of the time, they need them now. FBA is the ideal shipping service for that. You meet parents' demands in a very short time frame. Cats and dogs will always be the top searches on Amazon. They are the most common pets, and therefore demand on the products related to these animals is high. Plus, cat and dog owners love to spoil their babies, their family. But what about fish, hamsters, ferrets, iguanas? They are also someone's most beloved personality in the house, and their owners love to pamper them as well. Think outside the box. Fish aquariums, hamster running wheels, anyone? Part of your marketing strategy is to know what you can't sell. You must know that several products require approval by Amazon before being sent to the warehouse. Multiple items, expiration dated products, and dangerous goods or hazardous materials 
are usually subject to a high level of inspection before being approved by the online retailer. There are also gated goods like jewelry, collectibles, and antiques, which must be kept under surveillance by the way, and extreme care due to their high value. To know more about this requirement, you can access your Amazon Seller Central and search for the product safety and compliance page. To know which categories and products require approval, you can go to your Amazon Seller Central and look for that specific information. Selling almost anything is possible, but you have to know the rules first. You can always use additional resources. Here are some of the most popular Amazon Chrome extensions for product research. Jungle Scout, Helium 10 X-Ray, AMZ Scout Pro, FBA Calculator by AMC Scout Pro, Unicorn Smasher. FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. And with this type of service, Amazon takes care of sending your products, customer service, dealing with returns, taxing, and so much more. Working with FBA will save you plenty of work. For all you need to do is get your stock in order and send it over to your designated Amazon warehouse. That's where the rest of the magic happens. Just remember, always monitor your Amazon seller account. For more information, you can always contact us, AMC Advisors. We can help you out manage your account and solve any questions that you might have. Selling on Amazon is not as hard as it seems, but as with everything else in life, you you need to put your heart and mind into it to get great results. Before we end this video, here's a rundown of what we covered today. 1. Analyze your marketplace to see what's in demand. 2. Study product trends and consumer behavior. 3. Learn Amazon selling rules. And have fun thinking outside the box! Stay tuned because in our next video, I will take a deep dive into product demand and I'll share some tips that might be useful to answer some questions that you might have such as, how do I know which products to look for? How do I know which categories are most popular? How do I get information about a product selling rating? If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye!